If I told you Brisbane was now the nation's art capital, would you believe me? Well, if you look at the numbers, the capital of the Sunshine State now hosts the most visited art gallery in the country, eclipsing those in the other major cities. The latest international exhibition to go to Brisbane features some of the world's most important surrealist artworks. John Taylor reports it's the first large-scale Australian collaboration with Paris's esteemed Pompidou Centre. Let me just point out that we have agreed to lend to this show very rarely lent masterpieces by Dali, by Max Sands, Giacometti, Magritte, etc. And that some visitors in Paris have already expressed their frustration uh, that a few masterpieces that usually hang on our walls were missing. Surrealism, the poetry of dreams, is the latest in a series of international blockbusters to come to Australia. The whole origins of surrealism come out of France, came out of Paris, and the Pompidou is the main repository of art history of that period, so we are looking really at the world's best collection of its, of its kind. But almost as interesting as the art is that the exhibition is in Brisbane, at the Gallery of Modern Art. People still in, uh, nationally like to talk about Queensland as a, as, as a cultural wasteland, and, and we, we know it's anything but that. It is a really wonderful pleasure to be here to launch this exhibition in your company. 1.8 million visitors last year made GOMA and its sister campus, the Queensland Art Gallery, the most visited in the country. December will mark five years since the Gallery of Modern Art opened, and with each exhibition, the pride has been obvious. And when people think about um, the way that Brisbane used to be spoken of, I think then you truly understand what a remarkable modernising journey this has been for us. Tony Elwood has been the director since shortly after GOMA opened and concedes a ferocious pride in the achievements of his team. I mean, I think growing up in country Victoria means you always know what it's like to be I suppose led to think that you might not be the best, the second best. You're not from the city, you're from the country. You're in Brisbane, you're sort of told there's this history of, of hang-ups, of, 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 of sort of people sort of um, making excuses for who they are and, uh, and for being the sort of national joke. Those sorts of things sort of gel for me and I think, well, that, that just makes me want to just, as someone said in the paper recently, come out swinging. There have been eight major exhibitions over the past four years, featuring work by Andy Warhol. Picasso, Valentino, all part of a philosophy of embracing every opportunity to showcase diverse art to a diverse audience. We have been monitoring uh, for, for some time and um, uh, we've noticed how the attendance figure has increased, um, how it's, it's driven by a, a vision that is... Uh, um, shared by the director Tony Elwood and the, the, the trustees, the authorities of Queensland of bringing art and the people together. That's a, a vision we very much relate to. It's a, the core vision of the Pompidou. Approaches by 7.30 to the National Gallery, the National Gallery of Victoria and the Art Gallery of New South Wales to discuss how GOMA has changed the national art scene were declined. Technology is integrated in a lot of the experiences. Back-to-back uh, -back big, big scale programming is often considered a risk and not, not something to be done. We've tried to sort of uh, challenge a lot of the assumptions that have traditionally happened within our sector. But Brisbane's success is not without its critics. I suppose uh, an enhanced profile means that uh, what goes with that is uh, a criticism that maybe it's because of and people are trying to scramble to find out what that might be. Is it a dumbing down? Is it because the work's too safe? A uh, lack of scholarship? Um, we've been criticised for allowing people in who wear leisure wear. I mean, you really can't win. But until October, Brisbane hopes to wow audiences with surrealism. It's reflecting a period that many of our more traditional visitors who say they don't like modern art um, will possibly not reject because they'll start to realise it reflected something that happened during their own lifetime that was about a level of innovation, you know, almost 80 years ago. Uh, and maybe they need to reconsider that. John Taylor reporting.